Hey, what's going on, everybody? Keep them almost in full color, and today I'm back with another Tails video. Now, this video is actually about the fell arms. There's a method that I use to upgrade my fell arms, and I found it to be very, very effective. For those who are looking just to figure out what that method is, skip to the timestamp on the screen. It'll take you right to that. But first, I actually want to make something clear, a few things clear about the fell arms. Number one, if you're playing the definitive edition, you need to gather nine of them. Number two, if you're playing the original edition, you need to gather seven. The difference is that Patty and Flynn have fell arms in the definitive edition. Once you gather all nine, the last two that you get are actually in the final dungeon. Once you get those last two, you actually need to get out of that final dungeon. Once you back out, and it'll trigger a cutscene. Once it triggers that cutscene, you should be able to go right back in. I know the cutscene says something. Don't worry. You just go back in. You defeat the final boss. And when you defeat the final boss... It triggers something else you'll know it's gonna you'll know when it happens you'll know if it was proper now if it wasn't proper and you back down you got that cutscene maybe then go to the place that the cutscene tells you to go to another cutscene does happen there but from what I was told that cutscene has nothing to do with triggering the final boss cutscene that will happen by having all nine or seven fell arms in your inventory from there after you do all that the final boss now after you save the game and you have the clear save all of your felt arms should have a different name to them and this is how you know that it worked properly now the felt arms are the best weapons in the game because for every enemy that is defeated by that specific character they get plus one to their physical attack plus one to their magic attack now plus one for every enemy is just plus one so 100 enemies will be plus 100 to really set this weapon off you want thousands and thousands of kills and this is where this method i found was great so first and foremost what you're going to want to do is travel to nordopolica now in nordopolica there is the 100 man melee you're going to take your character whichever one you choose you're going to sign them up to go into the 100 man melee the one key thing you need to ensure that this character has equipped is an amulet. An amulet is the only thing that you need to have equipped for this because there are enemies who have status effect type attacks and you do not want your character to get knocked out early on. So you sign up whoever you want and you send them in. Now, like I said, this weapon gets a plus one of physical and magical attack based off how many enemies are defeated. It does not matter if the weapon is equipped while this happens. It is off of the total number of kills, knockouts. So, with that being said, you actually do not have to equip the weapon if you do not want to. You can equip whatever you want. If you feel that your character does very well with another weapon, equip whatever it is you like. Another key thing to do is turn the game on easy. What we're doing here is, uh, you know, it's a great method. So, turn the game on easy. Make sure an amulet is equipped. Equip whatever you want, put on whatever skills you want, sign them up, throw them in. When it goes in, I want you to set your character to auto and then just walk away. You'll have 20 minutes to go do whatever you want, wherever you want. I use this time to catch up on anime. I was TV shows. I was just chilling the whole time while these my characters were in. And every 20 minutes, I would just go throw that character back in the mix or choose a different character. This method was just so great because I was just doing a bunch of other stuff. And meanwhile, my characters were getting plus ones to their name while I was just chilling. Another great thing, I was using the PlayStation Remote Play while doing this. So it was also awesome because I was just in my room. My PlayStation is not in my room. It's in a whole other area. But I was in my room just chilling. I would just turn on Remote Play. I would go throw my character right back in the mix. And I would turn it off and go back to doing whatever I was doing. So this method I love thoroughly. It's so great. Just in the sense that you get to be lazy. So it was a much needed break for a lot of grinding I did with Tails. Now Rita is the kind of weird one because she's not very attack oriented. So I do not suggest leaving Rita alone. However, Rita can be the easiest all you're going to want to do is when you go with her into the 100 man melee is you're just going to want to burn your over limit and then cast tidal wave over and over and over. You should be able to walk it within five minutes. And once her Ouroboros gets upgraded, <laughs> probably like three minutes like is what it takes to walk it. Very, hers is easy, but it just it does require you to be there for her to be most effective. Now, lastly, there are characters like Estelise who also 
their AI really wasn't meant to be aggressive, and that's one thing you will notice when you throw your characters into this 100-man melee. Some of them really aren't all that aggressive, so it kind of sucks. So characters like Estelis, what you may want to do is come right out here. You want to come out to Zafius, and you want to try to link as many characters as you can to get this fight going. So you want to try to get, you know, eight, eight or nine, uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll get eight or nine in one battle. Also, you want to ensure that your other characters are set to defend and do not move. Uh, just to ensure that they're not stealing any kills and just go ahead and just take out everybody. Really, really easy. And then maybe once you get her up enough, you can throw her in the 100-man melee. But she's one of the characters that I noticed had a really rough time whenever I left her alone. Judith was another one that had a semi-rough time. I just thought she would have the easiest time. But it turns out Flynn and Rapid, this works amazing for they were monsters with this. So, like I said, Nordapolica, Herman Melee, Auto, and just get out. That's it. It's a very, I love this method, and I hope you all enjoy it as well in terms of buffing those fell arms. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be blessed. Be easy. Peace.